Hello and welcome back to another DIY video. Today we're going to be working on my 2007 Porsche Cayman 987.1 model. This is a little bit of a video remake. I'm going to do a standard oil change on it. The only difference is I'm going to be filming this on my four post lift. So hopefully the goal is to give you guys more visibility on the undercarriage to, so you have a better idea of what I'm talking about. But before we get started, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner and we'll get started here in just a moment. So of course you want to get your car up to operating temperature. What I'm doing right here is just opening up the oil cap seal. You want to make sure that you can obviously refill the oil before you drain all of it out. Again, make sure to get it to operating temperature. I usually just crack mine off just like that and kind of let it sit there. So now I'm going to go under the car. Hopefully you have good visibility now. That is going to be the area we are working on today. I'll put the camera down. So this right here is going to, what we're going to be loosening up. This is an eight millimeter bit. This right here is going to be the oil filter housing. So get a tool for that. I'm going to go ahead and crack this loose. Well, got it all over my shoes. Freaking awesome. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let that drain out a little bit longer. I got some on my shoes. Clearly my fault, shouldn't have worn my good shoes. Now you get your oil filter removal tool. Go ahead and crank this off. Let that drain out. So now I'm waiting for everything to drain out. This is my oil of choice. I'm gonna go with the Zero W40. Mine takes, um, I always get the two of these large uh, five quart containers. Um, I believe it's right at seven and a half. And of course, this is my oil filter of choice. Make sure that you replace your drain bolt along with a washer every time. Now we're going to take our oil filter right here, remove this o-ring, put on the new o-ring and just rub with some oil around it and of course fill in oil into the housing and then reinstall it. Get some oil on there. Well, I'm gonna pour oil in here first and then put this back on. Let's go and get it reinstalled. Get a microfiber cloth. Microfiber cloth. Just clean your surface.
I usually put this all the way down till it seats and then just uh, crank tighten it by hand. That's not going anywhere. So it's down to a slow drip. This is good enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up and put my screw back in. This is 37 foot pounds. I'm gonna do mine at 35 just to make sure. That should do it. I am pretty much done here. Again, that is what it looks like once it's complete. Again, I'm gonna fill mine up right at seven and a half quarts. It's almost eight. I'm gonna wrap up the video because I think that part is pretty self-explanatory. If you like this video, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right-hand corner. Leave your questions and comments below for the group.